Hi, welcome to the Crafts Channel. My name's Corin Brad, and I'd like to show you an idea with leather. Um, very simple to do, and if you're like me and you like the, the feel of a bit of luxury around the house, but you can't afford to go out and spend a fortune, pick yourself up some upholstery scraps of leather, and you can make a set of coasters for any occasion, very, very simply. So, piece of upholstery leather. Most of these scraps are sold because they have flaws in the leather, you know, natural flaws of the skin, and they can't use them for reupholstering sofas. So you can get them quite cheaply. And I've got here a flower template, which is available to download if you check the description below. And just like you would any other template, just draw around your flower. I'm using a black ballpoint pen because it works quite smoothly and I'm doing it on the suede side of the leather because this is a side that will not be seen. Oh, I don't appear to be able to draw around a uh, template today, but there you go. Very simple, flower. And then use dressmaking scissors or you want sharp scissors. Your normal paper scissors might not cut the leather too well or what it might do is leave a raggedy edge on it. So you want to use a pair of dressmaking shears because leather it's not difficult to cut, but it is a bit tougher than what you're used to. But if you can cut it in a smooth motion, then you won't get burrs on the edge of it, and it's a much more professional finish. Real, proper, you know, hard-working leather workers would use a swivel knife for this. Um, if you don't feel the need to cut leather, but you do have a nice thick dye that's normally used for chipboard cutting in the shape of a flower then you could use that as well but I quite like this six petaled shape it's quite um, Moroccan almost I feel just cut it out like this oh throw it across the table last bit Oh, always try to struggle with that last corner. So there you go. Just chuck the offcuts in the bin. So you've got your basic leather coaster. Um, you can decorate the coaster. You can do use things like um, acrylic paints, Posca pens, alcohol markers. I've never actually dyed properly dyed leather because I don't quite know what I'm doing as far as that goes, and I'd rather not mess it up. But the other thing that i found you can use is um, what I call like gilding furniture wax. This is like a, um, a Gedeo antique one, which smells of beeswax. Um, I'm just going to use that finger because there's less of a fingernail on it. It's quite soft. And I'm just going to start on the outside of here. Just gilding this. I'm working from the outside in because I don't want to gild the whole of the coaster. But I do want to give it an edge. And also the nice thing about leather is, I mean the thickness of this, there are certain weights it comes in. I couldn't tell you what the official thickness of this is, but I'd say this is like 300, 400 GSM card thickness. So it's just thick enough that, you know, I can do this quite easily without fear of getting gilding wax all over my cutting mat. Just go in like this. And what the gilding wax does is it gives a nice metallic finish, but it also, it accentuates some of the flaws in the leather. So it makes it look like a far more natural product, a natural handmade product. Need to put a little bit more here because this has started to dry under these lights. And rub it in with a circular motion. And you would say you would normally let this dry for a few minutes, but it's quite warm under these lights. You'll probably find that can just get a bit of cotton cloth and you can buff it off
to leave a gilded finish like a mottled effect Whoop. and because it's not perfect you know it is that handmade look to it it's actually more effective than if you've got it solid you can see with this one here because this is quite a, a textured leather where I've rubbed over the top of it very lightly it hasn't gone into the indentation so you've got that wine and gold effect this again is very similar to that but again it's a textured leather as is here and then this one's a textured leather and what I've actually done is I've used a paintbrush with two colours of gilding wax and I have sort of stippled lines like marbling and then blended them in a bit and rubbed them off so you've got like a quite an unusual marbled galaxy effect. Now these have been mounted onto felt. I've stitched this one around the edges. I've punched holes around this one and then what I've done is I've popped a tiny gemstone into each hole just for a bit of added glitter. What I'm going to just quickly do is if you've got a nice leather punch you can very simply just create not exactly a filigree design on your coaster but just add a bit of interest to it with a series of holes around the edge and then change the size of it And these are, say, leather punch pliers. I had a pair of these in the house as a kid. My mum's ones for making extra loops in belts and punching holes in bits of card to make gift tags. And they last forever, or they seem to last forever. So it's worth investing in, even if you're not working with leather, you'll find lots of uses for paper crafting or sewing. So let's just quickly like that and there you go a leather coaster to go with its other leather coasters very quick very easy very simple to do um, we'll join you next time if you've been inspired to create please share your makes with us in the comments section below and if you've enjoyed videos by the crafts channel hit the like button want to see more of us then click subscribe see you next time